Hello, and welcome to another Fireworks CS4 training tutorial brought to you by DevelopPHP.com. And if you're wondering why all of us Adobe tutors and instructors sound like dweebs and geeks and nerds, it's because we are. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to make some cool line graphics using Fireworks CS4. So let's go to canvas size 900, height 500, it's good for me. Yours can be any size. Your canvas color can be any color. Whatever you want makes you happy. Now I'm going to go to the shapes library here. And if you don't happen to have your show, you can go up to... Where is it? Window, auto shapes. It'll pop open wherever it happens to be. Now I'm going to go into the shapes folder there and I'm going to pull out Inspire, that auto shape. Now, when you click the auto shape, the little yellow dot, it says click for new inspiration. So you click it and it gives you a new inspiration each time you click it. Something new and creative for you to work from or on. And I'm going to give mine a line edge. And I'm going to give it no fill. So it's just a line. Now I'm going to take that, so each time you click it in the center, it changes to something else. And that's cool. It's good. Now watch this. Now I'm going to right click it, convert it to symbol. Graphic, name it whatever you want. OK. Now we have a symbol there. Let's uh, give it hue and saturation effect. So let's go to adjust color. Down in the filter effects, hit the little plus sign, adjust color hue and saturation. And you can change this hue and saturation to whatever you need it to be. Adjust the sliders for achieving any color you want. I'm going to go with that purple, bright purple pink there. And then once that's set, I'm going to press Control C, Control V. Bring it down a little bit. And I'm going to flip it horizontally. No, nope, vertically, sorry. Flip it vertically. Let's move it over a little bit maybe right about there and now we can have the adjust the hue and saturation on this one to be a different color press OK now what we're going to do is tween the two of these from this state to that state so let's highlight both of them let's go to modify symbol tween instances now in between my two states I want 24 steps so I'm going to press OK. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So you can make some really cool line graphics using this method. And what's really even more cool about it is that it tweens the colors from one color to the next all the way through the 24 steps. And what's even cooler about it is you can just double click any one of these go inside and once you're inside you just click the new inspiration and the whole thing will change up look at that that is funky click it again change it up again awesome so you see it's very creative very nice and if you have those line graphics going on with the cool flowy background you can achieve some really cool effects go back in double click any one new inspiration new inspiration and then once you land on something you like something that pleases you I like that one you just double click back out and you can group all of those together if you like control G and then add other filter effects to the whole the whole thing maybe a glow give it a glow look at that isn't that awesome that is just awesome any glow you want it'll look great maybe not so bright oh that looks great I like the red glow actually it looks really good Okay, so there's some cool effects for you to play around with and have fun with. Uh, bye. Okay, bye.
Okay.